Hey, the thumbnail says it all. We about to do a melting sweet potato with a delicious maple pecan topping. You guys gonna love this one. Let's go. All right, to get started, we're gonna prepare our sweet potatoes. Now, what I did was I peeled the sweet potato. Now, if you like to leave it on, skin on, you can, but I like to peel mine for this particular recipe. And what I did is I kind of cut it into like a half inch piece of thickness right here. And you wanna cut them all pretty much the same size, so the same size, so they cook evenly. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our melted butter and we're gonna pour it over our sweet potatoes like that. Take our nutmeg, our salt, cinnamon, and brown sugar. And we're just gonna get this moved around in here, flipped around, just like that. And what you wanna make sure you get, you know, you get all this seasoning and, mess, and especially the butter. You wanna make sure that butter touches all these sweet potatoes. Just like that, guys. That simple. And now we're gonna bring our baking dish into the shot so we can start placing our sweet potatoes on our baking dish. Let's remove that here. So now let's start placing our sweet potatoes here on the baking dish. And what you wanna make sure you wanna leave some room in between each one of them. You don't want the sides touching. So if you have a small baking dish or baking pan, you may have to use two or get you a bigger one. I know that it's a little dark. Yeah. That aluminum foil, for some reason that glare, it makes the light exposure dark. So let me lighten that up for you. That way you can see it. Even though we're not gonna stay at this step for too long. Got one more over here, a little small one. Let's see if we can get it over there. All right. Let me see if I can dial back that light just a little bit now that we got the sweet potatoes on there. Should be okay, all right. And we're just gonna take that leftover butter that was melted butter, and we're just gonna like sprinkle it over the top. All right, so now I've already preheated our oven to 425 degrees. We're gonna put these in the oven and we're gonna let them cook for 20 minutes. After that 20 minutes, we're gonna bring them back out, flip them over, let them cook for another 20 minutes on the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and get them in the oven. Now this is where we're at 20 minutes in, so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn these babies over. Oh man, look at that. We're gonna allow them to cook on the other side for the remaining of the time. Some a little extra crispy. Guess that's what most of the butter probably was over the side right there, but you know, we still gonna be able to work with them. All right, so we're gonna put these back in the oven for additional 20 minutes, and then we're gonna pull them out. And while they're cooking, we're gonna prepare our maple and pecan topping, all right? All right, to prepare our maple pecan sauce, we're gonna take a small saucepan like this, add our maple syrup, and we wanna bring that to a slight boil. All right, so now you see it's boiling. We're gonna add our pecans, get them stirred in, and we're gonna wait for this to come to a boil again. As you can see, it's coming back up to a boil, and we're gonna let it cook for one minute, then we're gonna remove it from the heat. Continue to move it around, guys. You don't want it to burn. If you have to turn, adjust your heat, adjust it a little bit. Don't, you know, don't, don't let it bubble over, but you want it to continue to boil just a little bit for about a minute. And what that does is gonna help thicken that sauce up. All right, so we're about a minute in now. That's all we wanna do. We're gonna turn our heat off. I'm gonna grab a measuring cup and I'm just gonna pour our mixture right in here like that. All right, and we're gonna let that sit in there like that until our sweet potatoes are done, all right? We got about, about 10 minutes. All right, so we're another 15 minutes in. I went ahead and pulled mine out. I think they're ready. I did a little test on the middle to make sure they are soft and they are soft. Guys, take a look at this. I know you may be concerned about it being dark around some of the edges. Of course, the smaller ones are a little bit darker because you know they probably cooked a little faster, but if you notice the bigger ones, but that's, that's just how it is. But guys, I'm telling you, these babies are delicious. So let's go ahead and get them on the plate. I'm not trying to explain nothing to you. Watch when I do this quality control what these babies will taste like. All right, let's go. Let's 
Let's try it out. Oh, this need to be on your table for the holidays. Any family get together, you want to impress them, put this on the table. So until the end, I'm your cook, Spinelli. Y'all already know, this is All Wings Everything. And remember, him not a chef. Him just cook a lot. And I'm out. Peace.